lot of people don't know actually how to uh, set up their portal of power when they're playing with an emulator. Whether it may be that you want to revisit the games, you don't have the required uh, systems maybe to play them or something. But obviously you have a computer and you want to just get a little bit of nostalgia or you just genuinely want to play them on the computer. It's honestly not that hard to set it up. Uh, there's no, I haven't seen an actual guide on the internet. Uh, it was quite the hassle to set this up. So, uh, obviously you guys probably, some of you might know, I do a Scuff Skyliner series. This is on an emulator, and it is actually not that hard to set up. So, now first, this is what you're going to need. You're going to need the Dolphin emulator and a game. I will not be showing how to get those. They're very easy. Now, there's many tutorials on how to get the Dolphin emulator, and then a game is no different. It's just you'll be getting a different game. I'm not going to show you how to get those because obviously getting the game is technically illegal because, you know, uh, the Dolphin emulator, quite easy to get. Um, so, but what you will need is a portal of power. Now, this is very specific because you're going to need a Wii, Wii U, PS3, PS4, or some cases the 3ds portal or maybe even the battlegrounds portal from mobile they will work the ones that will not work is the xbox one portal and the xbox 360 portal none of them work the trap team mobile mobile portal it doesn't work because it doesn't have a cord spot and the 3ds uh swap force portal will also not work because it does not have a cord spot now you can actually use the mobile uh battlegrounds portal that's designed for tablets and iPhones and such like that and the 3DS portal from Spire's Adventure and Giants because they have a cord spot on the back and they will work properly just fine I wouldn't recommend especially the 3DS one Battleground portal uh, works for the most part the fine uh, I'm gonna recommend a Traptanium portal from Trap Team because obviously uh, that one can work with every single game so uh, when you plug in your portal for the first time I uninstalled all the drivers so I can show you properly how it works. It's going to say setting up device for setting up Spiral Porta or Spiral Portal depending on which one you're using. Now it will say it's ready but it's not actually ready. What you're going to need to do is you're going to have to go ahead and you're going to have to get this pro uh, software called Zadig right here. This is what allows us to get the drivers for the portal. So all you have to do is go to this website right here I'll put it in the link in the description basically uh, and I'll show you exactly what to do with it not hard at all very easy so basically if you right now if you boot it up I will use trap team as an example because that is the one I am more, most familiar with there's the game right there easy peasy right when you try to continue uh oh, it's freaking out. It's it kind of detects something, but it doesn't know what it is. So obviously, what you're gonna have to do, you want to stop it because it's it's not gonna work. All right. Now, how you can fix that is once you get the dig downloaded, open it up and press yes to this. Now, you want to go to options up here, list all devices because you're trying to find the portal. There it is, right there, Spire Porta. Now, the one right now, this is the driver it has. This is not what we want. What we actually want is this one. This one, the lib USB K right here. You just click replace driver. And if your portal isn't glowing by now, uh, once this starts to install, it will be glowing. Um, light core characters, giants, anything that's light core will light up. The portal itself will begin lighting up. Now, once this is installed, if you boot the game up, which I will show, it should work just fine. Now, you might have to, I've had experiences where I need to open the dig every single time I reboot my computer. For some people, I've uh, noticed it doesn't do that. So make sure to keep the dig on your computer just in case. Um, and if uh, the one I suggested doesn't work. Try experimenting with them. Uh, for example, I had it one time where the the one I just suggested didn't work for me, and I tried a different one, and it did work. But uh, for the most part, it's pretty consistent. And I'm gonna recommend uh, the lib one. So once you boot it up, 
There's Skylar trap team. Boom. No error message at all. And then when you load into the game here. There you go. And just to prove this works, uh, I have a fist bump figure here, right here. Put it on. It freezes a little bit at the beginning, but don't worry. Not, not. Too late. There he is. In all of his glory. So, uh, yeah, it's actually not as hard as um, might think. Make sure you have the required portal, and it should work. Downloads a dig, uh, and it should work just fine. Uh, I'm not an expert on this because obviously I had to figure this out by myself. So uh, I might not be able to help you out completely, but uh, I'll try to my best at least. So yeah, thanks for watching. That's how you set up the portal.